Hi, and welcome to another Majestic.Cloud video. I am Laszlo, and today I'm going to talk about uh, one of the new features announced at reInvent 2019. And that new feature is the HTTP API for Amazon API Gateway. So in this video today, uh, I will tell you what this HTTP API is, and what are the use cases and the benefits. And I will also um, set up a standard API, which we had before in the API Gateway, and a HTTP API uh, that was just announced. And I will do this via the AWS SAM tool. Then I will um, load test both versions with the AB load testing tool to see what are the performance uh, differences. So. Uh, let's see what uh, this HTTP API is. Basically, it's a new flavor of API Gateway that is in preview. And uh, what the AWS team says is that uh, they have um, looked at what people are asking and uh, what are the pain points with um, the API Gateway. And they uh, uh, release this new HTTP API which is uh, simpler, easier to use and set up. Uh, it offers uh, a dramatic uh, performance gain, so you will experience lower latencies. Um, I've read somewhere 40-50%. We will uh, test this and see if uh, this is true. And um, the other main um, point that uh, was a pain point for many people was the pricing of the current uh, uh, API gateway and many people consider it, considered it very expensive uh, at $3.5 uh, per million requests. This new HTTP API is just $1 for a million requests for the first 300 million requests and afterwards you have a price of 90 cents per uh, million requests. So this is a 70% uh, price cut if we uh, compare it to the original API gateway. Now let's um, look at uh, what the features are. Uh, this new HTTP API um, uh, has uh, the JVT authorizers implemented. Uh, there are no custom authorizers yet, so if you were using those, you need to wait until they are launched, if they are launched. Um, you have also default stages. You don't need to uh, set up uh, and configure stages like you did in the previous version of the API Gateway. Um, it's much easier and fully customizable uh, the course setup, um, setting up cross-origin request uh, headers. And um, you also have a easy migration path. You can export your current API uh, and import it into the new uh, uh, HTTP API. Now let's go set up the two uh, APIs, the old one and the new one, and compare them uh, with a load test. I have already um, created a SAM project for this, um, and we'll take a look at the uh, SAM template I have here. So in this template I have two uh, Lambda functions each with um, API and point at attached to it. So the first function is the standard API function and it has this uh, event source, which is a standard API uh, gateway. And uh, the endpoint try me here, uh, we will use uh, the testing tool on this one. And then I have an HTTP um, API um, Basically, this is the function and the HTTP API is uh, configured here. So the only difference uh, in setting up uh, these two uh, API flavors is this uh, type thing, uh, which we have in um, the SAM template. So for standard REST APIs, the ones that we had before, uh, this is the correct way of setting them up, type uh, equals API. and uh, 
for the new HTTP API, the type is HTTP API. So the Lambda functions that we have here is, uh, they are the same. Um, it's the standard uh, template that um, um, AWSM generates when you initiate a pro project. So it's just a simple hello world. So for both functions, it's exactly the same uh, code. So let's close these. And um, the only thing we need to do is to deploy this. And we will get to endpoints and uh, we will test those. So let's do that. I have opened my terminal and I'm going to do a, a SAM deploy guided. And I will keep the options I've set before and uh, I will just confirm here a few things and then my um, uh, two APIs should start uh, deploying. I have one more prompt here um, which I need to confirm with a yes and now uh, the resources are being deployed and this takes uh, a small amount of time, not so much, but uh, I will pause the video until it finishes and we resume it after. Okay, so my uh, stack finished um, deploying. Let's go to the console and uh, look at what uh, got deployed. So here I have the console, I will go to API Gateway and uh, here you can see that I have two APIs. They both have the same name HTTP API that is uh, because the AWSM project that I've created is named HTTP API that's why they got this the same name but uh, they are different. The first one is the standard REST API that we had uh, before in API Gateway and the second one is the new HTTP uh, API and if we open these APIs, we will see that uh, the interface looks different. This is the standard API gateway interface that uh, we got before for the um, uh, old type of API. And uh, the new uh, one uh, looks a little bit different. Uh, we have a new interface because uh, it has different features. We are warned that this is in beta. Um, and here we have the routes, we have the authorization, integration, scores and stuff like that. So now uh, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, load test these uh, two APIs uh, with the AB load testing tool. So let's do that. I will uh, uh, use my uh, uh, terminal which is uh, connected to an EC2 instance. I wanted to do the tests from a remote instance uh, so I wanted to eliminate the my network as a bottleneck um, and I am connected to the same EC2 instance uh, in two different windows so we can compare the results and uh, as uh, I did in a previous uh, video about Lambda concurrency um, check out that video because that is also a very neat uh, feature uh, released at reInvent. So as I did there I uh, will um, use Apache Bench and I will um, issue a number of requests let's say um, 300 requests and with a concurrency of 20 and I will use the endpoint for the standard REST API which we have uh, so this is the endpoint for the standard API. Uh, if we look here, we have these uh, IDs. Basically, these are in the URL. This one with the 4 is here, uh, 4J21. And with the stage production and uh, the endpoint try me, the path. And then I run uh, the benchmark and I see that uh, it has done um, well. All the requests are under uh, one second. The longest one took nine, 
937 um, milliseconds. Now we will go and uh, also do this with the other one. So here I will also issue uh, 300 requests with a concurrency of 20 against uh, this other endpoint and this is the one with uh, BX uh, at, at uh, the beginning and this one uh, is uses the default uh, stage it doesn't have a production stage and let's uh, issue here uh, the command as well and now let's compare the results so um, the results are uh, almost the same but uh, we have a few differences so here the longest request uh, was uh, 675 um, milliseconds and uh, yeah we could say that's uh, 30 30 40 percent uh, improvement over the other one um, still the other numbers are a bit higher than um, for uh, the original version now what I want to do is uh, repeat the test but this time I will do it from my uh, uh, home network so using my local machine and uh, let's see if the results are different so let's open the two, two windows and I will do the same thing here I will um, issue AB um, 300 requests with a concurrency of 20 and uh, this one is the old style REST API let's do the test and uh, here it will take a bit okay so now let's repeat uh, for the new HTTP API also AB number of requests to 300 with a concurrency of 20 and I will paste the endpoint for the new type of uh, API and uh, we're benchmarking it and here we also have um, similar results but if we look at the numbers we can see that uh, here for example 98 percent of the requests finished in uh, around uh, almost 400 uh, milliseconds while on the original um, API they, they um, took double so yeah I think um, the numbers are better for for the new HTTP API uh, and it's not even that relevant even if the um, performance was not uh, better uh, the new uh, pricing definitely makes it um, a worthwhile upgrade for anyone uh, using the features that uh, the new HTTP API permits so I guess this was the video for today uh, I hope you liked it if you did uh, click on the like button subscribe to the channel follow us on social media on Twitter or Facebook and I hope to see you in a future video about uh, AWS and cloud computing have a nice day